There are more than 20 presidential candidates who will speak in South Carolina over the weekend. But Fox News, CNN, C-SPAN have all been barred from covering the event live. Now, why would that be? Howard Kurtz has an answer. Fox News media analyst, host of Media Buzz. What's up, Howie? Hey, Howie. What is the answer? Hey there. Well, look, for South Carolina Democrats to turn this state party convention into an invitation-only affair is off the charts outrageous and just plain dumb. I mean, to bar Fox and CNN, but also to bar C-SPAN, where you have mild-mannered C-SPAN veteran Steve Scully attacking the decision, uh, you've got a problem. Now C-SPAN is not going to go. This is not a debate staged by network. They're doing the public business. Okay. Um, what about the coverage from last night? What, what were your observations of the big rally in Orlando? Who covered it? Who did not? Well, Fox News carried the whole thing live. MSNBC didn't deign to cover a minute of President Trump uh, kicking off his reelection campaign. Uh, and CNN took uh, the two, three minutes and then dumped out of it. And what I have to say about this is it's just a lack of class. Now, I'm not saying that the cable networks have to cover every Trump rally, and it did turn into a hardly partisan speech in Orlando last night. Uh, but this really is sort of uh, networks uh, playing into what Steve Bannon used to call acting like the opposition party. Uh, to just simply say, we'd rather have our own pundits talking while the president is talking, spending the whole next day analyzing and picking apart what he said, rather than letting our viewers hear from the president as he asks for a second term or begins that process, um, just seems un fundamentally unfair and raises questions about how they're going to cover this entire campaign. Quite a, quite a crowd he, he got together last night there, Howie. Yeah. Uh, by the way, on the South Carolina thing, it's self-destructive because uh, MSNBC would have covered it anyway. Instead, yeah, their own presidential candidates will get a lot can, less. Can you time. recall a time when a decision like that has been made? I cannot recall a precedent. I certainly uh, can think of exclusive interviews, uh, debates, other things where a network has to invest time and money and production costs to cover it. A state party convention. We talk about living in a liberal bubble. Well, we'll just have MSNBC do it. Uh, and you bar others, which means you're, you, all those candidates are not going to be seen because it'll be old news by the next day uh, by the other so cable well, news So why networks. would they make that decision then, Howard? What, what? Well, maybe uh, they love MSNBC so much. They think that that's the only place uh, their candidates need to be seen. Maybe they think MSNBC will, will cover more of it if it's got the exclusive rights. But, you know, this is not the, it's not an auction. You don't give it to the highest bidder. I'm not right. saying MSC, NBC is paying for it. It just kind of uh, defies rational analysis. It's on, really on dumb. Thank you, Howie. Howard Kurtz there in Washington. Thanks, Howie.